Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. And I uh, hopefully everybody out there is doing good. And if you don't mind, subscribe. I know it's been a few days. And it's been a few it's been pretty hectic. Uh, as you all know, uh, Monday, February fifth, uh, was Grace and I's fourteenth anniversary. And it was also payday. And if you've been following my videos, you know I made a comment, uh, or made a statement or whatever, that there may be a delay in, uh, in payment. Well, guess what? There was. But not for the reason I thought it would be. I thought the Form 7162, I believe it is, uh, <coughs> would be the issue. But uh, by my sending it express mail, they must undoubtedly received it. My funds were actually in my account. But for some odd reason, the original bank I opened the account up right at 14 years ago put a hold on those funds. And you see, we no longer live in Lapa Lapa uh, in Cebu, and uh, so our the branch we've been using for the past ten years tried contacting them. You know, business phones in the Philippines. If you live here, you understand. They never answer them. So he tried to email. Them. Well, he emailed them, and he finally gets a reply, and said they're checking on it. That was the end of it. Now, if we waited like, about four hours, something like that, we got the email address and phone number. So, Grace and I, we left the bank and decided to go to find a shaded area and try to call and we tried to email that didn't work either uh, I wasted quite a bit of money on trying to call because we get charged per minute to call a landline here and it's kind of expensive then uh, I took Grace to the uh, city mall because she needed to run to Watson's and pick up some subscriptions and while she was there I contacted uh, Manila through their chat box and actually chatted with a person. And they made the statement that we that he could not uh, access my account or any of that information. Well, I said, and I asked him would he care to contact you know, my original branch. I gave him the branch number, which I had, and the ID number, too. Uh, he said he didn't know if that was possible. So we, how Grace comes back to the vehicle and we drove back out to the center mall, as they call it, and uh, tried calling again. And uh, I got an email from my original branch. Didn't give me a reason why they held their account, but they said the funds have been released. Well, it was so late in the evening, we decided to just go home and come back the next day, which is what we did. But in the meantime, speaking of our anniversary, um, I did take Grace out for a meal at one of our favorite restaurants, which she enjoys most. And we had a good, good meal. A very enjoyable meal. So the next day, excuse me, uh, we um, drove to the bank. We arrived early, and uh, we transferred the 
or US, <clears throat> US dollars over into our peso account. We got a few extra pesos because we plan on getting our van worked on. The air conditioner's not functioning. I was thinking well, maybe it was the compressor because you know the vehicle's 14 year old uh, leaking around the shaft seal. But they said they are going to pressure test everything and which means they had to disassemble my dash and uh, happens that my evaporator core is leaking. Well, their source of getting parts for vehicles in Bacolo, that's here in Negroes on this, um, they didn't stock my part. While they was trying to get the part, I done some research myself and actually found a new part in Davo, in Minado. And uh, told them, uh, well, we just ordered from there which I did. Now it's waiting for the part to arrive. <laughs> and also I got my new brakes in too that I will have done after we get the aircon fixed. I'm going to replace the front pads and rear pads as shoes. And hopefully that put our little vehicle back in decent shape for a while. I know this sounds like a lot of work I've been doing to the little van. It just I'm particular and like to keep things up to par. Yeah. Still much cheaper than a payment in big insurance. Oh. Coffee. And we're about a little over a week away from our eggs hopefully will hatch and we got our, our brooder in place and I've got a light order for it uh, to keep my little chicks warm so life is good in the Philippines it just sometimes you got little things you gotta work your way around but those little challenges to be honest with you is if you look back and be positive about it it's actually entertainment. So, folks, don't mind. Subscribe.